duty going to the quiet night and the perfect day? Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Those are the very opening words of the service of Compline, uh, which Diddy Disciples shared online earlier this evening. Um, it's really late, it's uh, nearly half past midnight. Um, I'm coming to the end of a long day, as I imagine many of us are. And I'm really conscious of the people uh, in our church family and beyond who watch or wait or weep this night, um, as one of the prayers in Compline says. And I'm really conscious of um, all those uh, in the emergency services who will be working around the clock in our city and across the world tonight. Uh, people for whom all leave is cancelled or for whom double or even triple shifts are the new normal. It was decided today uh, that the government sees uh, clergy, vicars, as, uh, as key workers. And um, I suppose in some ways we are. Uh, and do pray for all of us um, for whom there are extra demands on our resources at this time. But also I want us all uh, to think about how we can look after ourselves whenever we can. When you get the chance, do take a moment to rest uh, and be still. I want to share um, the reading from Compline tonight, just to give us a little bit of Bible. This is from chapter 58 of the Prophecy of Isaiah. Is not this the fast that I choose? To loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke. Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, and bring the homeless poor into your house, when you see the naked to cover them? Um, those are lovely words, and they remind us uh, in this difficult time to think about other people, uh, to look after ourselves and those who we have responsibility for, um, but also to look out for others and people who are uh, in particular need. Um, one of the things that this uh, reading brings up for me is that we've been hosting the Robes Project, our winter night shelter for homeless people over the last 10 or so weeks. Because of the current situation, um, we will be helping out at a different church on Sunday evening because the Robes team want to keep the guests in one place rather than have them move around. And indeed, the whole project is going to come to an end with the guests being offered some proper temporary accommodation in one place in a hotel um, while the Robes project find them somewhere uh, stable to live. So that's a funny thing for us because normally we have a proper ending to the Robes project and this time we won't. And it was a little bit like that being in school today, knowing that um, our children went home today, not knowing if they will have a proper ending to this year. So there is uncertainty, but in all of that, God is unchanging. God is with us. God says, do not fear. And Jesus says to us, do not worry. In the... Um, Compline prayers, one of my favourite lines is this. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. It's a beautiful image of God uh, as being like a mother hen, um, hiding us under the shadow of her wings. So good night, and um, I hope you get some good sleep tonight. And I'm going to finish by reading uh, the final blessing from Compline, and it's a prayer which I pray for you and for me and for all people everywhere tonight. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. 
Amen. Good night. God bless.